Hey everybody, so today I will show you a new trick to restore your device without losing your data. So this will fix the boot loop problem and the iTunes logo problem. So you must know your model number you will find on the back of the phone. So we will download a firmware file online and we will modify that file for the new tool. You can download it from the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. So we have to go to the computer and you have to open this website ipsw.me so we will download the firmware or you can say software file for our mobile device we will restore our phone but without losing data because I have a tool I will show you in the next steps so scroll down and you have to put your model number here you will find your model number um, on the back of your phone you can see right now you can see right now so find your model number on the back and put it here in the box and press this green button now you can see it detects my phone so download the latest firmware file so it takes time to download because it's a big file it's about 2 GB so it depends on your internet connection so now just wait for it so when the download will complete, connect your phone to the computer and press and hold the both power and home button for about 5 seconds and when the screen goes black, just release the power button. No, no, it doesn't complete. Now let's do this step again, press and hold the power and the home button together and when the screen goes black, just release the power button now. So your phone will go into the DFE mode, into the restore mode so that's it now iTunes will open automatically and let's see so in your computer maybe the iTunes will open automatically so we don't need to go into the iTunes for now we have to do some work so you have to download this zip file um, there's a link in the description of this video so you can download this file from the description so you will find a folder in this zip file so just I'm gonna just put this program onto my desktop okay let's close this so what you need to do you have to drag and drop the firmware the downloaded firmware file into this program so this is actually now modifying your firmware file this method is basically an upgrade for the device since no update button appears in itunes if the device was in dfe mode it appears in recovery mode if you click the update button in itunes then there is no need to use this method this method only works on firmware that can be signed by apple and so you might lose your jailbreak also but your all the data will be safe while using this you will need a windows machine to run this tool there's no tool in the mac and this will fix device which is stuck on itunes icon recovery mode or dfe mode or apple logo and it will also fix some boot loops so now let's go ahead uh, you will see a new file you can see so this is created by that tool and this is the old file so I'm just gonna delete this firmware file and we will use this new file to restore our phone so this will fix all the problems now all you need is go to the iTunes and press and hold the shift button press and hold the shift button on the windows and now press the restore button so it will ask you to select the firmware file so you have to select the firmware file the new firmware file which is created by that tool and press the restore button so the whole process will take about um, it's about 10 minutes or 15 minutes so now the iTunes is restoring your mobile phone right now so but don't worry your all the data is safe don't worry about it so now when the process is done you will find all your applications and data except of course jailbreak related applications and tweaks enjoy your device